Deep in Israel's Negev desert are the remnants of an ancient people trying to build a modern homeland. But these mostly black Americans are not Jews, nor do they profess to be. Instead, they call themselves African Hebrew Israelites, descendants of ancient Israel. We sang about the River Jordan. We didn't sing about Mali or Songhai, Timbuktu. We sang about Jericho, Jerusalem and Canaan's land. And the songs were passed down through the generations born and brought up in the United States. They believed that when the ancient Jerusalem temple was destroyed by the Romans, their ancestors fled to West Africa, from where they were taken to America as slaves. In 1966, a Chicago steel worker, Ben Ami Ben Yisrael, had a vision that it was time to return home. Everyone is called according to their portion. And our portion was, you know, that to establish the kingdom of Yah. And the kingdom of Yah represents a new idea, you know, upon the planet. And so Ben Ami set forth with some 400 people who, much like Moses in the Bible, spent two and a half years wandering in Liberia before reaching the promised land. When Ben Ami arrived here in 1969, just under half of those who'd left America with him had managed to finish the journey. This was to become their home here in the Negev desert. But successive Israeli governments made their lives difficult because ironically, while the country is founded on the so-called law of return, these returnees are not seen as Jewish, although many feel the issue runs deeper than that. When you get down to it, the world still has a problem with color. It's just a matter of color. And so these people of color are often dismissed by mainstream Israeli society. For years, their children could not attend the local schools. They had no health care. They were marked for deportation. But despite the obstacles and their ongoing struggle for recognition, they take pride in their traditions. When we understand the dynamics of what has taken place, they are needed to create and generate... They're polygamous, strict vegans, make sure everyone follows an exercise program, and are big supporters of preventative health care. Uh, we are an integral part of the state of Israel. This was the vehicle that was used to bring us back to the promised land. Yeah. And it's here in the desert wasteland that the community has multiplied more than 60-fold since it first came to the Negev. They say their intention is to be an example of peace and light to other nations and worship God, not religion. Paulus Lear, RT, Demona.